Hi, Mark here again, and I wanted to piggyback on uh, last segment in which we discussed the, the parallel between the solicitation of EVPs and that of a Ouija board or spirit board. And my main point was and is that there is no difference that makes a difference, no essential difference between the two. Because at the heart, at the heart of both of them is the attempted communication with the dead or communication with the spirit realm. And therein lies the basic similarity. Now, some of you are visually minded, and I wanted to jump into scripture, um, but before I do that, let me do a, give you an illustration that might help to flesh out what I said last night. Consider in, in your mind's eye uh, this first scenario. Consider Jim and Carol, they get married 10 years ago, and they're happily married, and they have a child named Jimmy. And unfortunately, Jimmy contracts leukemia, and he dies. And obviously, this devastates the parents. And in their devastation, they pull out uh, a Ouija board, and they put their hands on the Ouija board. And this is what I'm asking you to try to visualize. They have their hands on the planchette, and they ask, um, Are there any spirits here? Well, what's your name? Is Jimmy here? And to their surprise, the planchette begins to move. Spelling out J I M M I E, and they're blown away and they start crying. Two weeks later, the activity begins in their home, and soon after, it becomes hostile. Consider scenario number two the same couple contacts a paranormal group to help them. So when they get there, they set up their equipment. And the lead investigator begins to walk throughout the house and ask these questions, the same ones. Are there any spirits here? What is your name? Is Jimmy here? And to their surprise, when they check their recorder, they have their clearest EVP they've ever gotten, Class A, in a voice that sounds very much like a little boy. It says, Jimmy. And it blows the parents away as well as the investigators and the, what I'm trying what I want to point out is again you see the similarities there between the two the first scenario and the second scenario in the second one we may say in a sense that the investigators are using the whole house as a Ouija board and um, not just you know one little board and you, what you have there is the dangers of communicating with the spirit realm because what that does is it since it um, breaks an objective law of God, it gives the demons legal rights to attach and to attack and to turn people's lives into a living nightmare. And I, as a deliverance minister, uh, I've seen this over and over again, and it breaks my heart. But I want to shift gears here because the focus tonight I want to make on the authority of Scripture. We all have an ultimate criterion, and for me, uh, it is God's Word. And if you're a Christian, it should be your ultimate criterion. And not what you feel, or what I feel, but what God says. He, he is our Lord, and His Lordship should be absolute over our lives. And in Deuteronomy 18, it says very clearly, paraphrase, do not attempt communication with the dead and do not uh, engage in communicating with mediums and or psychics, both of which are, uh, are being done regularly in paranormal communities. In fact, the attempt to communicate with the spirit realm is, is the very backbone of investigation methodology today. But Scripture says, no, do not do it. And if I may just kind of put it in a form that may hopefully help to, to, to clarify uh, in a form of a syllogism, um, taking Deuteronomy 18, the major premise would be that uh, attempting to speak to the dead is sinful. The minor premise would be collecting EVPs 
is attempting to speak to the dead, and the conclusion is, therefore, collecting EVPs is sinful. And y'all, the logic is valid, sound, is irrefutable. So really, the Christian paranormal investigator is in double jeopardy regarding the collection of EVPs, because first you have the parallel with the spirit board usage, and then you have the Bible's clear prohibition, which the New Testament does not reverse. In fact, at every point in the New Testament where it talks about the occult, whether the practice or its um, belief, it, it continues the Old Testament's emphasis from Genesis 3 onwards of how it breaks God's heart. So that was my main burn tonight. God is... Whenever you have an EVP, I can assure you, it's not an earthbound spirit. It is a demonic voice. If demons are good at anything, it's it, it uh, mimicking the deceased. God, uh, again, I can't, don't have the time to go into this, but God is too big to allow people to get stuck here. So please think about that. Thank you.